Greetings, loyal subscribers and honoured guests. Um, it's time for another uh, episode of First Look Fridays. Uh, so I'm not going to waffle around too much. Um, the the game for this episode is called uh, Good Boy Galaxy, which I have um, on the Evercade. Um, it is expected to launch on Steam and Switch soon, um, but, it, but it's not quite available yet. Uh, the other way to get it is um, uh, as a Game Boy Advance ROM or a physical Game Boy um, cartridge directly from the uh, the chap's website, uh, the, the developer. Um, and that's just if you search um, Google for Good Boy Galaxy, you'll be able to find that without too many problems. So anyway, let's start looking at the game. So yes, um, as I said, um, this is a recent release for the Game Boy Advance. It was um, originally a Kickstarter um, campaign, which was successful. Um, there was a demo released uh, originally, I think. Um, as I am not great, typically, at Metroidvanias or um, difficult games in general, I, uh, I put it on easy just for the purposes of um, checking the game out for the first time. Um, but I don't know what that actually affects too much. But um, anyway, from the moment this game was revealed as an upcoming Evercade release, I thought it looked absolutely fantastic. As you can see, uh, it makes uh, full use of the Game Boy Advance um, capabilities. So you've got great um, pixel art uh, in a, a really cool, colourful style. Um, it's a, a science fiction story about this um, um, pilot, space pilot dog, who um, has come under attack and um, crash landed on this planet initially, and. Um, yeah, the the um, characters that you meet, like the professor here, are full of really interesting designs and um, and personalities. Um, yeah, and I was just really excited to uh, to play this, but um, unfortunately, I, I'm actually finding it a little bit annoying to play. Um, as I've said, I am not um, typically very good at Metroidvanias, and I find them quite frustrating often and um, often don't see them through. In fact, the only sort of Metroidvania I've had any real joy with over the years is Metroid Prime, and that's a, a fully 3D one, so I don't know what it is about these 2, 2D Metroidvanias, I just struggle and get lost and, um, yeah, and, and have a frustrating time of it. But um, I was hoping this one would be different, um, but it's really... Um, the way the game is designed and the sort of core mechanics that um, I'm not really jiving with at the moment. So um, not long into the game, um, you um, sort of get introduced to your three key abilities um, that you have. Um, you have your gun, um, you have a sort of booster to let you jump slightly higher and you have a shield that will protect you from being hit one time. Um, let me just skip ahead a little bit. Yeah, so um, throughout the, the various worlds that you go to in this game, you'll find these ancient gates, and, and every time you go through one, it will strip you of one of your abilities. So it, in this case, it's... Um, stripped me of my um, booster jump so I can't jump nearly as far <coughs> and in cases like this in, in the stages you often have to rely on standing on the back of enemies to um, make progress which is interesting um, and I wouldn't mind if they did this a little bit throughout the game like taking powers away temporarily but as uh, from what I've seen in this sort of first hour of gameplay um, they do it on every planet continuously, and um, even after you've sort of been through an area without an ability and cleared it, if you if you need to go back in for whatever reason, um, you'll you'll have your ability taken away again and have to um, slog all the way back through that area a second time. There's obviously um, going to be more abilities as you get further, um, like uh, the ability to either drag or smash those um, dark. Uh, blocks, for example. So yeah, I've made it through now, and I've got my um, 
jump pack back. Um, but this um, <coughs> this opening section does sort of um, introduce you to all three powers being taken away. Here's number two, uh, and now now I've got no gun. Um, here you have to deliberately take a hit with your um, shield in order to um, um, get through there. Um, and yeah, so there's it's t your sort of fairly typical um, platform puzzler really, where you have to make use of switches and navigate the environment, um, killing enemies or making use of them by standing on them, like I said. Um, and um, yeah, I, I, this, after you've got through this sort of opening tutorial section, you, you're then given access to a sort of a galaxy map with um, three other planets on it initially, and you have to sort of go off and explore those and, and do the challenges on those, and meet new, meet new characters, um, find out what they need, and then, yeah, um, explore the worlds finding items um, to give to these characters that they want uh, and finding new abilities so it's um, yeah it's, I wish I liked it more um, but at the moment as I said I'm struggling with it um, in a sec I'll, I'll um, skip ahead to one of the other planets just so you can see what some of the other environments look like um, but um, before I do that, um, if you want a copy of this, it's going to set you back um, twenty pounds for a um, Game Boy Advance ROM that you can run on a device of your choosing, uh, just a digital download. The um, the full physical um, version um, in a nicely um, designed box um, that looks like a proper. Game Boy Advance release, that's going to set you back um, almost 50 quid, I think it's 48 pounds, but there might be postage on top of that. Uh, and then the Evercade version is probably the best value at the moment, uh, and that's 17.99. but it's not the only game um, included. You also get a sort of NES style puzzler called um, Witch and Wiz, I think it's called, uh, which I might look at as well. Um, in a future episode, but so, so yeah, um, if you've got an Evercade already, then you might as well um, pick this up on there. But uh, there are going to be other options for you. Um, like I said, um, Steam and um, Nintendo Store are coming, but um, at the moment it just says um, expected Q2 for um, the Steam release, and I've got no idea what sort of price they'll be, but they'll sort of be in line, um, sort of 20 quid, I would expect. Um, like the the ROM version is. So anyway, let's um, let me skip ahead and see if I can find another planet. Oh yeah, this is the the next planet, and it's a sort of a um, a uh, junkyard, um, and you have to sort of um, try and navigate your way through to the um, sort of crocodile character running the place, um, and and when you do eventually t get to talk to him, you find out. <coughs> he wants something that's make him look tough, which I did find eventually on another planet. I think was, um, sort of some tough um, looking gloves. So um, yeah, I really do like the the graphics and, and it, of this game, and it does um, control pretty well, to be honest. But it's, it's just these these constant challenge gate areas um, do um, annoy me slightly. Um, on, a, on another planet, there's a you meet this sort of pop star girl who wants um, boxes of Pocky, essentially. They're, they're not called that, though. I, can't, I forget what they're actually called, but for every five, she'll um, give you something. Um, I'm not entirely sure what these little crystal doodads do yet that you're collecting when you kill enemies and, and around the environment, but I expect you can spend them on stuff. Um, so, yeah, it, look, it does look like there's quite a few paths that you're going to be able to um, navigate eventually, but you can't initially due to being blocked off by abilities. So I'm going to skip ahead and get again a bit more, just so that you can see a bit more of the game. Um, I'm 
are still on the same planet, but I do go to other ones. Oh, yeah, this is, um, I think this is yet another planet. This is the pop star girl's house um, who asks you to get um, the, the Pocky stuff for her. But yeah, and there's a lot of sort of making use of um, um, water jets on this one. But um, I am not going to give up. Um, I've only played for an hour. Um, and of course, one of the, the features of the Evercade is that you can um, have save states, which does help with the more frustrating sections. I've, I've got to be honest, I have been making use of the save states to help me get through a little bit. Um, so yeah, I'm going to persist um, at least for a little while longer and um, try and get through more of the game. Um, because it, it's a shame, really. I was I was looking forward to this one. It was probably my most anticipated Evercade release of the sort of six or so games that were all um, unveiled at the same time. Um, Duke Nukem doesn't really do it for me, um, and at the time I wasn't that keen on um, the Demons of Astable collection, although I have really enjoyed that. But um, it's this book that, that stood out to me, and uh, unfortunately, I'm just finding it a little bit frustrating to play. But um, um, if you're better at um, Metroidvania, or it's one of your favourite genres, um, then you probably do better than I am at the moment. So um, don't don't let the fact that um, I'm struggling with it a little bit put you off. Um, if if you think this looks cool, um, then um, I would um, at least seek out that demo, which I think is still available, um, and um, try it out, see what you think. Um, so this guy wants you to um, head back across the channel and back to him without being hit by those fish, which um, is a pretty annoying thing um, to try and do anyway, because I kept on getting hit just coming over here and I've, I've already messed it up so um, that's not going to happen anytime soon um, and then I, I accidentally um, loaded an older save because um, I hadn't realised my attempt to quick save earlier didn't work so yeah that set me back quite a bit anyway but so um, I'm going to sort of stop it here now here's the crocodile guy um, yeah, this is where he says he wants something to look really tough. But um, yeah, this has been Good Boy Galaxy. Um, yeah, do check it out if it does look cool to you. Um, I thank you for watching another episode of First Look Fridays. Of course, there'll be another one along next week. Um, not sure what I'm going to look at though, but I do have a few ideas. So yeah, see you on the next one. And in the meantime, take care.